Good morning, welcome back. We are in Minamar still. Um, today is a Monday, which means it's a public holiday, lots of things are closed. So we're going to go out for breakfast to figure out what we're going to be doing, just walking around, looking at some buildings I think in total. First thing I did want to show you today was all the money, look at all of this. We're not dealing in like £1, £2, £3, not even like 100 baht, 200 baht, 500 baht. We're talking in thousands here. The currency is kia or kiat and it's in thousands. One pound is 2,000 kiat. Got a lot going on here. It's really like not in a good way. But you know you have a problem when you have a 10,000 note. 10,000. I'm not sure if that's the highest note or not. Right, I need to count this up. We've got 97,700 kiat, which is about 52 pounds. It's crazy. It It is really crazy. I don't think we'll use all of this because it's not too expensive a country to be in. So we've come to St Mary's Cathedral. It's our first stop on our whirlwind tour, hopefully, of various religious buildings. It was refurbed a few years ago. Um, I can't show you the inside. You'll just have to take my word for how amazing the stained glass is, but the outside's gorgeous as well. So here's some clips of the outside. We're not sure if we can get into this pagoda and it's not as impressive as yesterday's, I will admit. But let's see and we'll have a look. Pagoda. It's a lot, lot smaller than the other one. It's 4,000 to get in. No, 3,000 to get in. No, 4,000 to get in. It's, the, it's just as impressive. Um, but I think once you've been to the one we went to yesterday, there'll be a link for that down below. Oh, no, I don't want any birds. No, thank you. Oh, God, she's selling tiny little birds in a basket with a net over it. It's, it's so they sell them so you can let them fly away. Is, though, but they've is, trapped them to begin with. Yeah, and that's the problem. It perpetuates the, the whole sale. Circle, and the circle, and reckless, yeah. cir reckless circle. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, that's awful. So, not as good as the one we went to yesterday. The link for that will be down below. So go and check it out because that was just spectacular. This was also amazing, but it wasn't dazzling or spectacular. On to the next place. We're not sure what this is called, but it's pointy. And these gardens all around are the Mahula Gardens, I think. And this here is City Hall. It looks very British to me. These look rather funny from this angle. It's a mask. in this country like the only one it's amazing very simple and beautiful and it's a rare treat to actually be able to film or take any pictures inside a synagogue so yeah lovely because we might be in the Chinese quarter with roofs like that that's cool oh Dan Street <laughs> and this I think is the Taoist place Elizabeth who lives in New York, uh, she's Chinese and she lives, her father lives here 
and she was explaining all about it and telling us all the places we should go to. People are so nice. And everything's been open today, so I think we're off again to the next place. We are, yeah. Let's go. Apparently Yangon has the highest number of colonial buildings in the world. So we're not going to see all of them, but you know. So this is a colonial building. Very nice. That over there is a colonial building. And I think this is a colonial building. This is also a colonial building. Another colonial building. Oh look, it's another colonial building. We've made it to the Strand. the lack of luxury back into the real world we've got a couple more bits to see including an Armenian church and something else before we call it quits for the day and we go and chill out because it is warm we've walked a lot today but it's been really good so far this is the Armenian church St John the Baptist one last colonial building this is the minister's office I think or the former minister's office last but not least a Hindu temple and we are back. It's been a really good day actually, a really good day. Seen lots of cool buildings, I had lunch in a five star establishment and we've managed to go to five or six different religious buildings which is crazy and we're really pleased with ourselves. Usually things are closed but not today, not this time. The only thing that we couldn't get into was the Armenian church. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. We've really enjoyed it. Minamar is such a cool place. Yangon seems really chilled out. I feel very comfortable here. And yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. Tune in tomorrow for more excitement as per usual. Don't forget to subscribe. Links down below with all sorts of bits and pieces if you care to take a look. Until then, don't do anything I wouldn't. Don't kill anyone and be nice to people. Bye. I wanna try for you.